Hello, my beautiful people. You all are welcome once again to Believer's Love Word Message. And if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss any videos we posted on this channel, you really have to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. So, on this message, a man of God is going to be talking to us, he's going to be answering some questions that a lot of people have been asking if it's right to abort a child and if you've been asking that question then you really have to watch this video to the end for the answers you need lies on this video so please do not forget to share this message for it to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and if you have anything to tell us at this video has been of help to you then please do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section and please do not forget to give us a thumbs up thank you and keep watching my question revolves around the portion. Firstly, let me speak clearly that abortion is strictly prohibited by the Bible because it's murder. Who told you that? Well, that's what you say, okay? Now, I know the question I just smiled back shocked some of you because you expected me to say that's right and I didn't say so. Well, I haven't said so. We have to wait till we examine the question. He hasn't. This is just a statement and it's a flat statement. Okay? Well, he says my question revolves around abortion. Firstly, let me state clearly that abortion is strictly prohibited by the Bible because it's more that he's trying to teach me now. All right. However, consider the following peculiarities. Come on. Would you sanction? I don't have the right to sanction. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where well, he says, would you sanction a portion if it's necessary to save the life of the mother? For the avoidance of doubt. I'm talking about a mother who was legally married and who conceived well under wedlock. Would you sanction? I wouldn't sanction because I don't have the right to sanction. Do you understand? It's like asking me if I would sanction you eating bread for breakfast tomorrow morning. I don't have the power to sanction it. Do you agree with me? All right, we'll talk about this anyway. So if he said, what does the Bible say about it? Better. I am not a doctor, medical doctor, I am not, and I do not want to profess to be one. So, let me move to the next question. Who we'll answer the first one? Huh? He has two questions. Secondly, if a lady is brutally raped, brutally or not brutally, it's brutal anyway. If a lady is raped, it's brutal. You, you can't say if a lady is carefully raped or lovingly raped, it's brutal. If a lady is raped, But I think that we have to give God the right to decide. 
Is it so? Why to give God the right to decide? All right, I'd like to address it from this point where this man says, well, whether it's a man or a woman, I don't know. He just says, I appreciate reading, I appreciate readings from the Bible to support the answer you gave. Thank you. Anonymous. Anonymous is his name. Okay. That's all right. That's brother or sister, Anonymous. Is that Yoruba or Igbo? Anonymous. Are you ready? He says, let me clearly state that abortion is strictly prohibited by the Bible. Where in the world did he find that? I don't know. I, I, I wish he gave a scriptural reference to tell me why. He said, because it is murder. Just turn the table for the continuation of this message.